Hello, it's over the Dollar Ivan, and yes, I am giving you another opinionated video. And what's this video going to be on? Well, of course, it's going to be about Chris Jericho and his latest 30-day suspension because of the because of the Brazilian because uh, of Brazilian flag and what he did. Now, obviously, this has erupted on Twitter, on Facebook, on groups on Facebook, on everywhere, on every news wrestling site as well. This is possible. This has been erupted onto it. Uh, about it on my Facebook, um, I'm assigned to a few groups on there, and there's a lot of questions going around. The well, the one simple main question is: Is this a storyline, or is this not a storyline? Well, to be honest with you, I don't know. I I don't think it. I think it's more not a storyline than it is a storyline because I mean, like, um, it's kind of it really is kind of hard to tell. Um between this because obviously anyone watching WWE at the moment will know or these backstage room staff will know that obviously Jericho's taking leave to go to go to a Fozzy of a Fonzie uh, Fozzy Fonzy whatever. Uh, obviously they've got a download uh, and then also they've got some other gigs and that coming up. So obviously Jericho's gonna need time off. Usually when some wrestler takes a break they obviously find a way to cut him out of their punt kicked or they're suspended. So this suspension could be a storyline to get Jericho, obviously, to <coughs> me to go play with the band. Uh, to go play the band. Uh, it's just a very weird angle that WWE are doing, you know, to uh, to get someone to take up leave. That's why I see. I think it's um a weird angle. I mean, why couldn't Alton not punt kicked him in the head? I, I just think it's a weird angle that uh, WWE have done just to get someone to take leave. I mean, it could be. Um, it could be that it really happened, and the reason that he actually did get suspended is because it was a PG rating, and WWE just don't want to have a bad name. I mean, when you look, when you think of it about this, I mean, I know Jericho is a heel, so whatever Jericho did, he could have just been doing to get more hate, and you know, just to do I me, mean, just to get more hate because just put his publicity as a heel. I mean, when they went overseas, hit um, JBL, did they hit the walk in Germany, and HBK. Uh, start the Canadian flag up his nose and that was the same things that they did when they went to other countries and they were heels that's, that's what they did you know it was just promote them as bad people and obviously it depends how the country takes it so that's why I don't think it is a storyline I just think that maybe Jericho did it anyway and obviously Brazil took maybe a bad reaction to it so obviously maybe WWE had no choice but to suspend the Jericho anyway because they didn't want to look bad on the PG name but it's probably okay for Jericho anyway because quite frankly, sorry, it's just really hot and it? it's just been really hot the last few days. Because obviously he's touring anyway, so he wouldn't mind the suspension because he's already going on leave. And apparently, what's going to be Randy Orton versus Chris Jericho? And no way out. Um, but apparently, that's been called up because he's because of his suspension. So it's just really hard to tell at the moment whether this is a storyline or it's not. Um, it's just really ironic that if, if it's not a storyline and it just happened to happen before he takes the leave with Foz, uh, with Fozzy and like what would they if this isn't if this is not a storyline what how was Jericho originally going to take leave anyway I mean like I can't honestly think of something what they could have done so it's just it's just a little bit hard to tell at the moment at this moment in time. Uh, whether it is obviously there'll be more news and updates, you know. So I mean, all he really did was just kick a flag, as far as I'm aware. As far as uh, that's from the report, all he did was just kick a flag like out the ring. So like Jericho also tweeted that he didn't have anything against Brazil, or anything like that. So obviously he was just doing it because he was a heel, just to get hate. And obviously just Brazil probably took it the wrong way. So that was a storyline for obviously Jericho to kick the flag. But I mean, but then again, back in the day when JBO did the, uh, the Hitler Walk thing and Jericho stuck the flag up, you know, the times have changed. It was a lot different compared to what it is now. That's why I'm thinking the PG era probably kicked in and probably, you know, WWE probably saw this and thought, right, if we don't ban Jericho, we're going to look a bad name, you know, we're going to look like a bad name. You know, we can't let him get away with for doing something like this, you know, or maybe they planned it, but they didn't think it was going to go over that bad. So maybe they had no choice but to suspend him. So. I mean, I'm disappointed in Jericho as it is anyway, because knowing him, knowing him how creative-minded he is, I'm still a bit disappointed, you know, that he has been suspended, and, you know, because it's kind of annoying, you know, so, I mean, I'm sure that uh, if this was, I'm, I don't know, because would WWE plan to do something like that, Jericho would to kick a flag out, would, you know, 
would Brazil really take it that bad? I've seen some comments on YouTube saying that uh, Brazil Brazilians take this really as a, offensively or something. I, mean, I suppose so, but the same could be said about Americans as well. You know, if you do something to their flag, you know, at the end of the day. So, so I don't know. This could have just been Jericho trying to be Jericho, doing it after the match, just trying to get a bit of hate publicity, a bit of heat on him. It obviously went the wrong way. WWE saw this and they had no choice but to suspend him. So. Um, Maybe because Jericho knew that he was taking leave before I'd do this anyway, not Matt not caring about the suspension because chances are I mean he misses no way out, which kinda of sucks. But the reports about Chris Jericho is that apparently he was taking leave but he was gonna be involved until SummerSlam and then he was gonna take leave until October, but that's what's been reported, no one really knows. And apparently he stays long he's welcome longer than thought, so so it's kind of hard to tell, but if you go but go on YouTube and search JBL does nuts uh, does uh, hit the walk or uh, Germany or Nazi or Nazi impersonation of Germany and the HBK sticking flag on those. If you've not seen those two videos, those were two other things when they went to other countries and they did it, but they still they still went okay with it. Obviously, times to do a TV was a lot or oh, more different than it is back now, but I suppose at the end of the day, it depends what WWE want. PG has changed a lot of things and it will continue to change things. So. I will say if Jericho did do it, just uh, if he didn't do it because he wanted to, I mean he, he obviously did do it for he because he hasn't got anything against Brazil, I doubt it's Jericho being a dumbass and just kind of thing it and just doing it just for that, you know, so I think in a way it's a bit of storyline because obviously they want Jericho to play the hill but obviously they had to just suspend him for like the 30 days anyway, whether that was this, this is, if this actually is a hill or a storyline then it's a very weird one to say the least of, you know, WWE's publicity of you know not being liked by a Brazilian and now Jericho's been suspended just because he needs to take leave with Fonzie or Fozzy. That's kind of a, a very weird angle of it all, you know. So but we'll, we'll just have to see. So, you know, that's my thoughts and opinions on it uh, at the moment. I don't I don't know if it's a storyline or not. I mean, it probably is not because I guarantee you WWE were planning to use Chris Jericho at No Way Out anyway since he was going to be there. So obviously they wouldn't want to jeopardise that and I'm sure they wouldn't take it out just from him out for no reason unless it was a legit reason. So obviously this is a legit reason, so the reason means it wasn't a storyline. So it probably was just Jericho being a bit of heel, being playing the heel too good like he does and being a dumbass. So that's my thoughts on it. Leave your comments and thoughts down below if you want to about this situation. I'm sure you'll leave a little different opinions to me anyway. So thanks for watching. Why's the stop button?